means that we're creating a um, text-based, kind of Zork-like, do-your-own-adventure sort of game. So what's happening here is that um, we're talking about three different ways to do this. Either do it as um, a Twine project, Twine being a um, open source um, um, hypertext narrative project uh, maker and another one is basically taking a decision tree and moving it into an HTML format. In this case, we're going to do it with Wix. And as yeah, right here, we're going to take we're going to take this twine thing here and take like the first three levels and take them to Wix. And then the last one, I'll talk about using uh, Adobe um, Experience Designer XD to basically do the same sort of thing. So um, let's see here. And, you know, it basically what we're trying to do is that my, we're doing a kind of a um, visual novel game. Um, and some of the students are also using RenP. But, um, This sort of thing, almost like the, um, the Japanese visual model, um, the the kind of adventure games and that sort of thing from like role playing games and that sort of thing. But where I start is I start with Zork, uh, which is one of the first um, one of the first video games. I mean, one of the first sex based adventure video games, and. Um, we're expanding this into kind of a visual novel format. In this case, what we're doing is we're going to take um, my Twine version here, which is kind of a you know a Zork-ish thing, and then um, what we're going to do is that we're going to bring it into Wix, which is just basically saying that we're just going to take this actually, and the other thing is that. Twine basically generates um, HTML, which you could take into Dreamweaver and rework, but I'm just going to talk about how we can work this um, using Wix. Um, so here we go. I've got my Twine thing here and uh, my Twine project here, and then I've got Wix up. So why don't we say, why don't we just start a new site? And the issue with this is where this is a little different is this. Is that since we don't have a menu, um, this is just going to be a bunch of web pages that are all just hooked together through links. The, the little bit of an issue with Wix is that it doesn't have, uh, to the best of my knowledge, a sitemap function so um so basically you have to have it somewhere and in this case it's going to be in our tw in in twine let's go remind us what we're doing so what i'm doing right now is that i'm creating the um the wix project and that's fine thanks so much don't need your help we're good so i have a few things that i have all ready to go um this isn't going to be real complicated, but I do have some backgrounds uh, for the first three or four. I just do have some, I have some basic backgrounds that I kind of lifted to my students. It would be great. I'm not, you could probably use something um, for your background, but for your characters and your scenes, that sort of thing it needs to be your work. Anyway, okay, so. This beginning, you can either go to the house or read the letter. Read the letter, I'm going to have a mountain pass. Don't worry. Um, I'm taking some things from Return to Zork. Um, all right, let's get started. So let's take a look here. This is the beginning. I'll just double click on this. And I'll just say this is the beginning. And these are the two links, you know. So I'm just going to take these, bring these in. And this is our first page. 
okay? I just took the, the beginning, say this is the first page, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. And we can change the size, of course. So I'm just going to uh, make it big paragraph. And I'll, I copied from my first paragraph. And I thought I could just copy and paste. Let's, let's just see whether I can. I might have to... Yeah, I can copy this, right? Sure I can. All right, and then I'll just go and, yep, okay, that's fine. This gives us kind of the basic general thing that we need to do. Um, say, what do you do? And we can do whatever we want with this, but right at the moment, I'll just, oops, hang on. I'll just go grab this. I'll just move this up here. And I'll take and get a background. Oh, by the way, I need a I need an image. So I'm going to go and get an image. And actually, I'm going to upload some media. And I have some I'm going to upload from my computer. And I have three backgrounds for this whole thing here and I'll bring them in and these are bg.png bg2.png and bg3.png so just to tell you what's going on is that these three are uploading and while they're uploading I'll just show what these are going to be these are going to be the backgrounds for this this and this. So, no worries, right? Okay. And it says these are loaded. That's awesome. Okay, good. So, um, since this is the beginning page, I've got these and I'm going to change the background. Hey, look at that. That's, that's kind of what we need to do. All right, great. And then I'm going to just take this and change it all white. And all right, where's my font color? Yep, I'll just make it all white. And I'll just make this a little bigger. Span this out a little bit. Um, and I really don't have to do this, but I'll just format this just a tiny bit. Um, this is probably the most basic thing that I could probably do with this. Um, I'm going to add a heading one. And where is it? Oh, there we go. There's my heading one. Put it up here in the header. And honestly, I hope that this the problem with headers is that it tend they tend to be they tend to stick to everything, and I hope this one doesn't because we're not I hope this isn't being used as like a, a master, but we'll see. Um it might. And I'll just do that. Turn this white. Okay. Okay, so let's just take a look at this just for a moment. This is really crude. There's nothing going on here. And I'll, I'll talk about a few things, but I'll talk about a few things that we could add to it. But this is like the most crude basic thing that we could make. So this See here, read the letter, go to the house. These will be links to, to web pages. See, then these web pages will be read the letter and go to the house. Let's make those. So I'm going to go here and say, 
And you know what? There's no menus. And by the way, I think I'm going to... Can I... Can I change the name of this? Probably not, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to call this one. Um, read the letter. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'll call this one go to the house. I'm capitalizing everything. That's actually kind of a programming thing, but that's all right. So what we now have, let me just show you. We now have this page, this page, this page. So what we need to do is we need to connect this page to this page and this page to this page. Let's just get that done. So we'll close this for now. And what? What happened? Wait a second. Okay. Oh, I know what goes. I know what's happening. I need to get out of the. Um, go back down here to the page, and I think we're fine. Okay. Anyway, um, I guess. Oh, this is page go to the house. I need to go to page home. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So there's a background here, but. Huh. Might not be what I'm looking for. I think we'll 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 look into this. Let's just let's just get the um let's just see what we need to do here. Okay. Um let's see here. Alright, click it. Well here we go. What we need to do is we need to link it. So so this will be read the letter, and this could be um, this could be an image. We could have a letter, or we could have something else. I'm just doing the most basic thing. Okay, New current window, and Here, this has got the link, but I'm trying to find. What is that? What's it hooking to? Okay, I'll disconnect the link. And then. The page. Oh, okay, sorry. I was... So this goes to read the letter. And it goes in the current window. That's fine. All right, now let's just do this for the other one. I just forgot to see the drop-down. And I'll just keep it in this window. I'll just do it this page. Keep it in the current window. Go to the house. So they said, this is just like making, any of you who took my web design class, this is basically a bigger version of, of Project 4. So that's all it is, is that I have animators and multimedia designers make a interactive experience using web pages. And that's all this really is. So, um... Yeah, so actually, since these brackets are actually um, Twine's way of using, of making a link, so we're, we're, doing, we're doing a web page, so who cares? Okay, so these are the two things here. We've got the basics of this setup. 
Okay, and so what I'll do is that I'm going to go to read the letter. And, you know, just as I thought, um, the header is uniform for everything, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to use it. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we're just, uh, I might just call this the super awesome adventure, but the thing I'm gonna have to read I'm gonna have to redesign the I'm gonna have to redesign the page. I'll just call this the Eternal Awesome Adventure, which I call it over here. And then I'll just put all the twine page stuff in the in each of the pages. So let's go over here to um, read the letter in twine. And Where did my where did my twine go? Twine just crashed. Okay. This moment, let's just get this open again. And twine two. Alright, here's the eternal awesome story. This is what it is. Okay. So open this up. copy it and let's paste it add some text make it a big paragraph control a yep right here and I'll just turn it white I have to watch out. Everything, every once in a while, things crash. And you just got to deal with it. Okay. That's okay. So my, my, I actually went on the wrong page and my, and twine crashed on me. But I had everything saved. Always remember to save everything. So you don't die, which is good. So, whether you're in a game or you're in real life. Good not to die. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to take this out of the header. Oh, wait, this is read the letter. I'm sorry. I completely messed this up. This, let me go down here to read the letter. All right. And the other thing that I'm going to do is that I was working on some other things with this, so I've got a I've got a image link in here that I don't need to have in here. So okay. Yep. I'll just grab this out. I'll just take this out. This is actually the way you can put an image in 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 twine, actually. But So I'm calling the pseudo zork, and here's this, and then I'm just going to drag this down. And there will be no header, and I'm just going to say, read the letter. Okay, so if you see what's going on here, um, see here, read the letter. And so we've gone here to here. Um, important note, you could press the back arrow on your browser to go back here, but that's not the point of the game. In other words, you have kind of like flows. So this is the reason why I don't have, um, I don't have a link to go back to this is the beginning. In other words, I want you to go to don't believe me and go to the house or go on and head to the forest, one or the other. So. Um, 
We won't worry about that for right now. The only thing that I'm going to worry about for the moment are just a couple things. I want to... Hmm. I would like to... Yeah, this is for this page. I'm one... I'm just thinking that maybe um, I'm hoping it's just for this page. So let's just see what happens. I'm hoping that's just this page. Yep, I'm hoping, 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 hoping. And let's just close this. And I mean, if I wanted to, there's all sorts of settings that we can do. I think I'm just going to make the box a little bit more, um, I think I'm going to make the box just a little bit more, um, opaque maybe? That's no, alright. I think, maybe I'll drop shadow it. There we go, that pops it out, that's nice. Okay, good. And just remember that with each of these, when I do this, I'm gonna need to, need to make a new page and that'll be don't believe me and go to the house. So I'd say don't believe me. And then the other one, go on head to the forest. We're not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna check real quick and see whether Home has the other, nope, okay, this is great because what's happening now is that the backgrounds are staying with the, um, the backgrounds are now staying with each individual page, so that's great. And if you notice, watch this. I'm gonna preview this. I'm gonna go to read the letter. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So that's, we're starting on the basic structure for now. Let's go and put the other one in place. So let's go over to go to the house. And go to the house, I'm going to use the uh, background for, the, I think the mountain pass that was in Re Return to Zork, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just, we're just using images here. So here we go. Yep. Now what we need to do is we need to take everything from my twine and did, do I, when I do this, does my twine keep crashing? That's kind of weird. Anyway. I'll just open this up. I think twine keeps crashing. But I'm not going to let that disturb me. It's Everything's fine. Okay. Let's call this go to the house. And... Okay. Let's go back in here to Wix. I'll save my work. And fine, whatever. That's good. Let me add some text. Let me just go in here and do, okay, thanks a lot. And remember, that's great because what happens is that you'll be able to say, you'll be able to share that URL with me when you get that put together. So, um, so let's see here. Let's go and make the color white. And yeah, that's good. Okay, good. And then let's just bump the size up a little bit. All right. And of course, this is not the door, the door of the small white house, but 
Just imagine that it is. And I'm going to edit this text just a tiny bit just to just for emphasis and I will go and Oh, guess what? That's that's I have the wrong kind of bracket there if I was using if I was using twine. But okay. And I'm just going to use just a dash to make these look. This has nothing to do functional. It just makes it look like these are obviously options. And I'll just make these a little smaller. This is all just to design these stuff at the moment. Um, that's okay. So, and then I'm just going to put in one more piece of text and I'll call this heading one. It's going to be this big head. It's going to be this big heading thing. And I'll make it white. And then, um, okay. And then let's just go back over to Twine and get the heading. This, it's called Go to the House. I'll just type it in. It's not a big deal. So, go to the house. Okay. Seems fine. Uh, I don't need any effects for it. Great. And then I'm just going to just move this up here. All right. By the way, this background, or you can, it can be an animated GIF, or it can be video, or anything you want. Um, and all I have is text and things here, so really it would be fantastic if you had some other things in here. Um, so I am going to maybe put one or two other things in, but let's just talk about this first. So, so at the moment, I'm just going to save this. Thank you. And here I have twine. So we now do have, this is the beginning. Read the letter. Go to the house. Um, it'd be great if you had your characters in there doing things, but as I said, right at the moment, this is just the structure. So, oh, I know what I was doing. I was actually closing twine. What am I doing? Okay. Let's just make sure it works first. And I need to go back to, let me just go back to home at the moment. Because if I start things at the page I'm on, it's just going to show me the page I'm on. Um, and I'll just take this here, bring in another heading, and I'll just call it the beginning. Let's make it white. Yep, here we go. That's great. Let's take this here. And one other thing I'm going to do before we test this. Let's make a little heading. I'll take this up here. And it says attach it to the header. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. And I'll just say the, the let's see here, the eternal awesome story, which it really isn't, but we're just trying to be fun. Um, by Patrick 
Click T. And let's turn that white. And let's just knock the size down a little bit so it's manageable. And that's kind of okay. I might. Now let's just have it be here. And then let me just take this down a little bit just so I don't look like such an egomaniac. Okay. That's good. Not bad. Let's save it. Let's see if it works. Great. Um, let's preview it. Okay, we're starting right where we're supposed to be. Read the letter. Yep. Here's everything else. So, if we did have links here, these would go to other pages, and then that would be this. this is, I'd call it like maybe don't believe me dot HTML, and then go on HTML, and then it'd be the next thing. So let's just make believe that we're starting it over again. Let's just go back and see what happens. Go to the house. Takes us to the other one. Okay. So this is the basic idea. You just do this. You make links and everything, and you just, just make pages, make links. Now, this is the, the most basic um, thing to do. But what options do we have? Do we have to make this, you know, just crazy and amazing and, and all that sort of thing? We've got over here, well, we're just using this for pages. We're not using any menus. Background, we've used this. I'm not adding apps here. Media, that might be an interesting thing. Let's think about that for a moment. We're not blogging. We're not doing any. I don't know. Are you going to be like booking any events? I don't think so. That's all right. Unless you want to be, unless you want to have a, uh, a unless you want to have a, uh, a press opening for this amazing project. Maybe. Anyway, inshallah. Okay. So adding media. Um, I mean, if I wanted to, I could just pull this over here. Maybe the day before the American election. Maybe that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Let's find a better one. All right. Um, actually, you also have a great um, selection of Shutterstock videos, but each of them is about um, 50 dirhams. We want some free stuff. Um, yeah, Snowy Mountain, 10. 10 seconds. That's great. Okay. I'll just put this here. This will turn into a little video box. And I'll just set this here. And I'll look at the settings. I'll probably set auto. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. Video's fine. Reset video, no description. Uh, what I was thinking about, help. See, actually with everything, there's just all kinds of stuff that you can do. Is that you can, you can have this fly in, which would be crazy. Um, designing this, 
that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. Um, mask it. You can put a jet. You could put a PNG over it and make it into a shape. Um, what are behaviors? Okay. Oh, here we go. This is what. How does it start to play automatically and it loops? How is it paused? <coughs> I'll play it in slow motion. Or can I? Nope, I can't. Well, I'm not going to do it then. So that's cool. The other thing that's kind of interesting is that this could... Yep, we'll just have it glide in. Customize, maybe have it come in from... <coughs> have it glide in from the right instead of the left. Have it 90 degrees. And... That's fine. Okay. So that's kind of neat. Um, and then I'm going to just save this and then I'm going to go over to read the letter, which I'll tell you could be another interesting thing. Um, interactive. See, there's all this stuff. See, this is the reason why I was talking about doing this in Wix. Because you can make, just do all this crazy stuff. And um, you can put buttons in, galleries, decorative things. Um, you can just go nuts. It's, it's, it's great. So, um, what was I going to do? I was going to do interactive. So, there is this thing that I like called hover boxes. And so what I can do is that I can bring this in here. I can just start editing, editing it like Matt. I'll just say, um, okay. I'll just say, um, the house. Not the house house and I'm just gonna say um, I never like that place that place I hear there is a bloodthirsty ghoul Living there. So glad we moved out. And I don't really like the fact that I can't really read this white. So I'll make it black too. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just make it black. That's cool. Future light. I don't know. It's fine for now. And there's just all sorts of things you can do. I mean, I can um, change this color to sort of a pink or a purple, which is goes better with this. That's great. And I'm not going to make any backgrounds to this, but I could. I could I could basically have like big things of milk, but I'm not gonna have big things of milk because it's not what we're doing. Okay, so this is something that when you put your mouse over it, it turns to a different image. And I'll just say actually I'm going to go back here. And because I think that this is a little bit longer than I thought wanted, I'm just going to copy this. Actually, I'm going to cut it with a Alt X. And 
and let's go over to hover and notice that that has a little bit of timing on it with the fade. Um, I'm going to just make, make this white again. Let's see here. I didn't click in and get it selected. Okay. Let's turn this white. And let's make it bigger. And I'm going to try a different type style just to see if there's something that's kind of um, maybe fits a little bit better. Oh, what about lobster? Okay. It's just different. That's fine. And so now we have this. We have the house. And so glad we moved out. So remember that all of this is just um, well, actually, I think Twine did crash. So be careful for that. I think Twine is gonna might crash on you a lot. So anyway, it's either that or I'm closing it. Um, so all we did is just basically take these three pieces and uh, put some media in them, make get them linked. So the next thing that I would do is that I would make these four pages. Don't believe me and go to the house. Go on and go head to the forest. I think the professor was joking. He always jokes too much. I'm going in. All these things. So... Uh, let's just take a look and see what this looks like. And actually, maybe by the end of this project, when we when we do this, I may actually do this in the way I want to do it. There's actually another project called um, Confinement Spaces that I actually do want to do um, in this in this way, and um, I'll try to get it done by next week for you. Let's do that. But let's let's just take a look. Oh, wait a second. We need to go over to the home page and just see what, what what this looks like. Okay. And by the way, you can add music, whatever. So make it as awesome as you can. This is just a very beginning tutorial on how to start this from your, your twine thing if you don't want to use twine. So here we go. Eternal awesome story. Here's the beginning. You're standing on a driveway before you. There's a small white house. The door is slightly open. To your left, there's a mailbox. There's a letter sticking out of it. What do you do? Read the letter. So notice what happens here. You got read the letter. This tells you what's happening, and you have this little, you have this little story that tells you about the homeowner. That gives you a little hint. I never liked that place. There's a bloodthirsty ghoul living there. By the way, your graphic design should be a little bit better than this. I'm doing this very quickly. Um, so glad we moved out. And you could go, don't believe me, and head to the house. Don't use the brackets. And go on head to the forest. So let's just go back for a moment and just imagine we started again. So we're at the beginning. Let's go to the house. Notice what's going on there. The video flew in. We've got go to the house. You're at the door. There's a video playing. You could have all thing, kinds of things. You could have graphics everywhere. You could have music playing. You could have things going on in different layers and all that sort of thing. This is just, any of you who have been in my web design class and using Wix, you know there's a lot of fun we can have with it. You know, it's, um, I'm just really into the idea of making each one of these uh, things interesting, fun, 
and um, entertaining. And so that's really kind of where we're at. At the moment, I've got all of this. Yep, this, this is happening. And then if we went and built this more, we would um, make links for, the, for these. And by the way, I can make this non-scrollable if I want. And in this case, that's probably what we'd want. Um, last thing that is completely unrelated to everything else is that um, I wonder whether it'll work in mobile. I, I wonder whether it'll work on a mobile. Yeah, kind of. That's cool. This actually worked. This this actually worked on an iPhone. That's pretty awesome, actually. Good. So now what we have is we have three pages done. In my case, of about twenty that I did in under an hour uh, with some pre-prepared stuff. I would like for you to have music and some other things. You know, just. Make it make it as fully fleshed out as you can. We've got about ten days to do this, and then um, yeah, exactly. Make it make it make it deep, fleshed out, fun, professional graphics, great music. Um, you know, let's just have a great time doing this. So um, that's where we are at the moment with this. Um, Hopefully, maybe sometime tomorrow, I'll talk. Um, and by the way, if any of you haven't been uh, watching my videos, I kind of talk about things in, in real time with my classes. So um, I'll probably make in real time tomorrow um, a, a video on using um, doing this sort of thing with Twine. It's a bit more difficult, but it's certainly doable. It uh, won't be the same thing, but it'll, be, it'll still be pretty entertaining.